It's Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Trust, and our scripture is Psalm 115, verse 11. All you who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. The psalmist speaks a truth that challenges every hidden corner of willfulness and timid self-doubt. It's a foreign truth to today's Western culture, namely that we should trust God rather than our own abilities. Consider the language of today's parents to children. You can be whatever you want. It's your life, your choice. By contrast, the psalmist speaks conditionally. If you really fear, or more accurately, worship God, then put your trust in Him. He wants to be your help and shield. Now, some would answer that challenge with a string of other probing questions. What does that kind of trust look like in real life? Why is it necessary to trust God? Isn't He good all the time? What do I get on the other side of taking that leap of faith? Well, those questions do not seem out of place or odd in today's cultural climate. Before we invest, we want proof that it'll pay off, or at least a little sound reasoning that it's the best choice for me. (laughs) Doesn't all that have a self-center kind of ring to it, as if the worshiper is what's important, not the creator, sustainer, and source of all life? And isn't that the issue that forms the whole purpose in life from the beginning? Let's put the answer to that series of questions in a single declarative short sentence. God is worthy. If there is such a thing as sovereignty, being in complete control of all beings and things created, that sovereign would therefore be the source of all power. That one would be sovereign over all extant beings and things, and therefore the giver of life and will. If there is a God like that, that God is worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be completely trusted. For you today. So the whole matter of today's devotional thought is not one of what trusting in God looks like or what my life might look like on the other side of trusting God or any other condition I might try to introduce in negotiating a better deal on earth or in heaven. Rather, it is me making up my mind which God I will serve. Is it going to be the little me that today's culture whispers in my ear is sovereign? Or the one true living God who loved me enough to leave his divine glory in heaven and embrace me from a cross? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.